horseshoe crab right here is an arthropod, which means that it has jointed legs. Other arthropods are lobsters and crabs and insects. And even though a horseshoe crab has the word crab in its name, they're more closely related to scorpions and spiders. Now, horseshoe crabs are invertebrates, which means they don't have a backbone. But what they do have is a hard shell that's shaped just like a horseshoe. It's got two eyes, one there and one there. Those are compound eyes. They see very, very well. And then there are two dots right here, one here and here. And those are simple eyes, and they can see shadows and light. A lot of people think those are the nostrils of the horseshoe crab, but the horseshoe crab doesn't have a nose or nostrils. There are also light receptors around her body, and um, she can see shadows and light with them, and there's one even on the tip of her tail. She has a hinge here and a hinge here, and those hinges help her to bend her hard shell. Now she has a tail right here, or a talson, and what that tail does is helps her to steer in the water a little left or a little right like the rudder of a boat, and when she's in the water upside down, she can dig this tail into the sand and it helps her to turn over because her body here is very soft and a shorebird could peck through it, whereas her hard shell isn't as easy to get through. She has little hairs all around her body and those help her to feel and also to smell. If you look underneath her, you'll see she's got appendages in front that she can grab baby clams and sea worms with and when she's crawling she'll push those sea worms and baby clams towards her mouth that is surrounded by bristles and as she crawls the bristles will rub together and help to chew her food and then she's got a gizzard with sand and gravel inside that help her to chew her food as well. She does not have a jaw so she can't chew her food like we do. I know it's a female that's because her second set of appendages look like all of her other appendages. They're pincher likes. And um, the males have hooks in front in their second appendage, and that's what they use to hold on to the female shell. The very last set of appendages are her pushing feet. They help to push her off in the sand, and it looks kind of like a flower petal or a daisy. She's got one on either side and all the rest of her feet look like this and these are her walking legs she has gills right here these are her book gills she's got several of them and what they do with their gills of course is to breathe but they also flap them when they swim and it helps to propel them along now when she gets too big for this shell she's going to molt and the way she does that is she sucks water into her gills and bloats her body and the hard shell will break right here. It will split open and she'll crawl out with a new shell on her. The old shell will wash up on shore and a lot of people who find molted shells think that the horseshoe crab is dead, but actually the horseshoe crab isn't in there at all. The horseshoe crab is swimming around with a brand new shell on that takes about 24 hours for it to get hard. And the way you can tell if you found a molted shell is pick it up, turn it upside down, and if there's a hole here where the horseshoe crab escaped, then you know it's a molted shell. And the horseshoe crab grew about 25 to 33% when it molted. You'd never pick a horseshoe crab up by its tail because it's very fragile and it could break off. And they need their tail for turning over and for steering them in the water. So the best way to hold them it's by the sides of their shell, just like this. Now a horseshoe crab that's a female takes 10 years to reach reproductive maturity. The male horseshoe crab takes 8 to 9 years to reach reproductive maturity. They will molt when they're first born up until about 5 or 6 years old, about 3 or 4 times a year. Then when they get to be 5 or 6, they start molting about once a year. And when they reach 9 or 10, 10 with the females, 9 with the males, they don't molt much, if at all, from that point on. And a horseshoe crab is thought to live to be about 20 years old, but most of them don't ever reach that ripe old age because 
loggerhead turtles like to eat them, and shorebirds like to eat their eggs. Um, let me show you a male right here. And this male horseshoe crab, you can see his second set of appendages are very different. They're hooks that they use to hook on to the female shell. And you'll find females and males swimming like this all the time, hooked together. <laughs>